guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. So being Monday, it is time to get into my kitchen and I'm going to share with you one of my favorite healthy study snack ideas. Now it's actually a drink today that I wanted to share with you that's going to be really refreshing and it's actually really healthy as well. So I wanted to show you guys how to make a recipe that I read in a recent cookbook. I've actually got it open here, but I've put my twist on it and this recipe is called Naked Lemonade. So the reason it's called Naked Lemonade, no, we are not getting inappropriate on my channel, I promise. It's because it's actually sugar free. So we're using coconut water to sweeten the lemonade instead of sugar. So I've actually added a couple other ingredients into it too and changed the proportions just because, I don't know, I like to put my own take on things. So I hope you guys enjoy and if you do, thumbs up. And of course, if you recreate this recipe, then please send through your photos to my social media accounts. You can find me at Study With Jess on Instagram and I'd love to see your recreations. Okay, now to make our naked lemonade, I've got a few different ingredients here. So you'll need some filtered water, some coconut water, a lemon, a lime. I've got a lemon squeezer or juicer as well, just to make my life a little bit easier. And I've also got some cayenne pepper or cayenne pepper. So this is some really spicy stuff. It's going to give it a real kick, but it's also going to make the drink really refreshing. So let's get started. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is cut my lemon in half and I'm going to squeeze it and pour it into my mason jar. Now I'm just making a small serving of this, but you can make a really large serving or quantity if you like. And I'm using this lemon squeezer just because I don't want to have to go digging for all of those pips that always end up in all of the juices that I make. So I always find that whenever I have something like lemon in tea, I always forget to squeeze the lemon like this and I always end up with the pips sticking out of the bottom. So I thought I'm just going to make my life a little bit easier. And I'm only using one lemon. If you want it to be a little bit more sour, I'm sure that you could use more. The recipe that I was reading had five lemons and that makes one liter of this naked lemonade. So up to you guys, but I'm just doing a little bit of lemon and then also a lime. Okay, now that I've juiced my lemon, this is some sour stuff. There's this little bug in my kitchen. I don't know what he's doing because he's not invited to this cooking party. Okay, so I'm gonna pour all of this lemon juice into my mason jar. I'm really hoping it just goes straight in. Oh, why did I get a pip in there? No. Okay. Doing my best to keep the pips out. Awesome. And of course I had to spill a little bit on the counter, but it doesn't matter. Okay. So now I'm going to cut up my lime and I think I'm just going to add half a lime because I don't want it to be too acidic. I think otherwise it's going to overpower the coconut water. So I'm going to do one lemon and one lime and Yay, my lime doesn't have any pips, so I'm just going to squeeze it right in. Okay, so time to add the coconut water. Now, I'm using this one. It's by Coco Bella, and there's no preservatives, no added sugar, no concentrates. So, you know, it's just 100% coconut water, which is really good. And coconut water is really good for rehydrating and bringing back all of those essential electrolytes into the body. So, again, it's a really good drink to have in the summertime. And I'm going to fill this up around halfway, about there, yeah. And then the rest I'm just going to top up with the normal water. And I think that the recipe that I was reading was saying to add water simply so it's not too sweet, so it does dilute it. And then I'm going to add my favourite thing, it's splashing everywhere. I'm going to add some cayenne pepper. I'm warning you guys now, Adam and I cook with this and there have been so many times where I've sprinkled it into the pan and wanting to just make it really flavorsome, I've been too generous with it and it absolutely burns. So my grandmother actually came for dinner a little while ago and I've just been way too generous on my roast vegetables and we we're all just laughing but constantly drinking water. So just put a really, really small amount. I'm just gonna, there we go, you can see. I'm just gonna tap it in and I'm really hoping not too much comes out. Okay, that looks good to me. So I'm really using, honestly, just a pinch. It's not even a quarter of a teaspoon because it is really strong. I know you can get different strengths, but the one that I have is, it's a strong one. So I'm being pretty careful here. And then I've also got some ice cubes in the freezer that I made earlier. So I'm just going to pop them in just because I want it to be really, really nice and cold. And I feel like serving it up with ice cubes is just much more refreshing. So I'm going to pop them in and then mix it all together. I like to do a nice big handful of ice cubes, so I'm going to pop them in. Yay! 
And I've just got this straw here. I'm just going to use that as my little mixer. And moment of truth, guys. See how it tastes. Cheers. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's really good. I did not think it was going to taste that good. It's actually much sweeter than I thought. I thought that by diluting it with the normal water, it was going to be quite bland. This is really, really good. I'm so happy with this. I love trying things out for the first time on brain food and not really knowing how it's going to go and then just winging it, honestly, because yeah, this turned out really nice. Mm. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode and you do try out your own creation of Naked Lemonade, it sounds so raunchy and cheeky, but I promise you it's not, then yes, please send through your photos of your recreations and just tag me at Study With Jess on Instagram. And of course, if you did enjoy today's video, thumbs up to let me know. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That way you'll get notified whenever I post up all my videos. I've got my brain food videos on Monday, my study tip and lifestyle videos on Wednesdays, and also my questions of the week videos on Fridays. So I'm posting up a lot. I've really, really increased my workload here, but I'm really loving it. So I hope you guys did enjoy. And don't forget to check out some previous videos. You can click the cards up there. And I'll also leave a link to my study skills book, The High School Survival Guide, down below. So you can check that out too. All right, guys, until Wednesday, I hope you have a very happy and productive week. And I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye.